Hello my poor holic friends, Loida here from loveacrylicpainting.com. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing these four beautiful coasters in these beautiful red tones. So these are the paints we're going to be using. It's titanium white from Amsterdam, brilliant red from Artist Loft. Then we're also using a darker deep red, which is called cadmium red deep from Liquitex. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit of gold from Artist Loft and some black from Liquitex Basics, which is called uh, Mars Black. So those are the colors. And I'm gonna be doing each of these coasters one by one and kind of showing you how they look as we go. And I'm gonna start with a base coat of just white paint mixed with my pouring medium. You can check the description box below to find the exact recipe for the pouring medium that I used for this, for these paintings. This is the consistency. And um, I just decided that I was gonna add a base coat of white paint on my tile surface just to help the rest of the paints flow better on the surface. and I, mostly because I was planning to spin these tiles, but um, I ended up tilting, tilting them in the end just because spinning wasn't working out as good as I thought. Um, I just didn't have enough space inside my, my plastic container, so th that little thingy was not really spinning as I thought it would, so I ended up just you know tilting in the end. But, I didn't really add this base coat for the last one or two tiles that I did just because um, I was not spinning and I really didn't see a difference between the last ones and the first ones where I added a base coat. So um, I'm going to be adding this cell activator. I'm also adding that uh, recipe in the description box below. It didn't do much. Um, you know, it didn't really create uh, lacing as I thought it would, but I'll still Put it in the description box then i'm adding the brilliant red and you'll see that when the brilliant red and the white combine it makes a really nice pink so it had a good contrast with the this darker uh, red hue um, so i added the dark red and then i added the black and then on top of that i added my gold so now i'm going to be flipping this cup on top of my tile um, so yeah, here's how it looks. We're just going to flip. This is a very small cup because I have a very small tile. So, um, I'm just flipping it and then I'm going to start spinning. Uh, but because like I said, it wasn't really spinning because the, you know, the spinner was touching the edges of the plastic container. Then I decided I'm just going to go ahead and tilt. So I do spin it for a little bit but then I give up and I just start tilting. Here is the second tile that I did. Wait until the end so you can see a close-up of all four tiles. They all will look 
pretty similar, but they will have their differences.、Uh, but they will work great as a set.、Um, you know, that's the beauty about this: that they're not exactly the same, even though they are similar. So I'm doing the same exact thing as I did with the first one. I just layered my white, my bright red, then my deep red. Then my black, and then some of the gold on top. Again, I'm trying to spin it, not working out, so I'm just、uh, starting to tilt again. And yeah, just take a look and see what happens. Here's how those first two are looking, and now I'm going to start with my third one. As you can see on this third one, I did not add that white base coat. I just made my flip cup with the same exact colors, layered them the exact same way, and then I I, I did add a little bit more white on the top on that one, and then. A little bit more black,、um, so I did my usual order. You know, the white, the bright red, then the deep red, then black, then gold, and then I think I added again more of the white and a little bit more black. So, yeah, but it still turned out very similar to the other ones. Very pretty, and I'm doing now my fourth one. As you can see, they are all beautiful. They have different designs. But they all just look so pretty. This last one again did not have a base coat, a white base coat. My tile is was just white. That's why it looks white. But I did not really add any white base coat to that tile.、Um, I just added my paint, and I was missing a little bit. I had run out of paint, so I was just adding. Whatever paint I had remaining, just to make sure that the rest of the paint could flow on that area, and I wasn't just left with a bare spot. So yeah, I just added a little bit of the leftover paint, and then started tilting so I could cover that bare spot. And here's how this one is looking as well. So now I'm going to show you a close up of each one. So that's the last tile I did. That's one of the other ones. As you can see, there's some really nice combinations going on. Some black areas, some really dark red ones, some lighter reds, some pinks.、Um, so really, really pretty. I can't see a lot of gold. I guess the gold got hidden somewhere, but there are some areas, and I'll show you in a bit. Um, some areas where it has a little bit of a sparkle, like right there. You can see some of the gold, but it's not overpowering. So I did actually like that. I didn't end up with a ton of gold. However, it did add some shimmer here and there. So I think that was a good, a good option to add in my color combo. Here's again another close-up on the last tile that I did, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna be showing you the the four, the overall look of the four tiles that I did. Let me know what you think. Let me know if they work good as a set.、Um, I think they look good, and this, these colors are just, I I absolutely love them. <laughs> 